Hello, directions for databases module B, homework assignment number one. You can open the file that I've attached and you'll recognize it because it's from our module A database homework. So go ahead and open this file. And you can recall that we had three tables, course, department, I'm going to open students to, sh to share with you. This is the one that in design view for the contact information, we set an input mask for the telephone number, so it typed it in the parentheses and dash for us. Then we created the forms based on each of the tables, in case you wanted to type the information in a form. And then we created a couple of queries. The first one was course and credits, where it just shows the department code, course number, course name, and the credit hours. Department of just math and applied computer science, and then one with just the English credits. So I'm going to close all these, and we're going to create two new ones. So the first thing I'm going to do is choose create, and then query wizard, and we'll go with simple query wizard, okay. So the first one, it should be from the table called course. So make sure you select table, course. Now, in the, in the past, we would bring all of them over, but we only want certain ones. So you can, the first one we want is department code. So it's selected or it's highlighted. You could just bring it over with the um, greater sign arrow or double click. Same thing for course number, course name, and I'm gonna leave description, but I'm gonna go to credit hours and bring that over. So you should have department code, course number, course name, credit hours. If you brought anything over accidentally, you can bring it back. Then we're going to go to the table called department, and we want two of these, department name and department chair. So there should be six. Four of them were from the course table and two from the department table. Then we'll click Next. I want to show all the details. Um, we can call it course query. That's fine and finish. So there should be nine records. There are five from the applied computer science, three English, and one math. So that's fine, and it's over here as course query. Now I want one that has the, the same columns but just focused on English. So I'm going to click Home, and then I'm going to click Design View, or I can click this arrow for more options. And if you notice, the design, um, the graphing ruler matches Design View. For the course code in the criteria, I'm just going to type ENG, and it doesn't have to be capitalized. It's not case sensitive. And then I'll click Run. So out of the nine, it pulled the three that are English. Now, if I were to save, close out here and save, it'll be saved just showing the English in the course query. So I want to give it its own name called English only. So click File save as, make sure you choose object because you're just saving this one little um, query that you created and call it English only. And then go ahead and say OK and there it's English only. So if I were to check the one we did first, course query, there's all nine of them and English only is just the three English. So close out of both, go ahead and save and submit for homework number one. Thank you.